Hey there gamers, Sweet Johnny Cage here. And today Video Game Central.com is once again proud to present to you the Retro Duo 8-bit and 16-bit video game system. Now as I showed you last week in the unboxing video for this, this plays both NES, Super Nintendo games, and as a special added bonus, it plays both Super Famicom, the Japanese Super Nintendo, and European Super Nintendo games. And we were lucky enough to actually get a European Super Nintendo game in here that is pretty rare. And we also have uh, a few select titles for the Super Famicom. Now, from the unboxing video, I've been getting a lot of questions about the system already. First thing is what type of games does it play? Does it use all the accessories? We're going to get to all that you know, in a minute, but right now I just want to show you more about the product that I didn't get to show you through the unboxing. As I said in the first video, it comes in two different colors. It comes in this high gloss red and black with a matching controller. As you can see, I have the SNES Game Genie in here. Everything matches all around it. It also has the red cartridge slots. And on the back, as I showed you, it has regular composite audio video as well as S video. Now, something that I noticed as I was testing this out myself, the S video does not work for NES. Uh, that only displayed in black and white because S-Video wasn't actually around then, so it's not going to work. It does work for the SNES for all the titles, though. And now, it also comes in this color, which is the one that I actually prefer, the high-gloss white and blue. I don't want to lift it up and mess this up, but uh, as you can see, white and blue, everything matches just like in the other color. As you can see on the box, not the other box, but there you go all the power switches and everything. Everything is high gloss, it looks very nice, goes nice anywhere in your house. So let's get started with actually what you guys want to, want to know. What does it work with? Now with a lot of the other classic system cloning, a lot of games didn't work, such as Super Mario RPG. But as you can see here, see the controls also match. I'm using it right now, there's nothing wrong with it. This is a used game, so these aren't my files, but to show you a quick few seconds of it. Give a little volume for you. Here I am in Mobile. Jumping around via Mario all day. The sound, I just kind of proves that it's not emulation, it's actual real hardware in there. The sound is very crisp. Normally if you have an emulated product, the sound gets really chopped up, it's not as clear. That's an obvious sign of emulation. However, it's not the case with this. We wouldn't do that to you guys. So that's Super Mario RPG. Now, I also have a few other titles here that I want to show you, along with a couple of other accessories. So we're going to stick with the Super, Nin Super Nintendo and Super Famicom for now, and then we'll move on to the NES. So let's switch this off. They got the game. Now, one of my favorite games, Donkey Kong Country 3. It's actually the million seller copy. Works just like it did on the original Super Nintendo. Good theme song, good theme song. Nice xylophone action. So that's that. Now, does it work with the Game Genie? So let's take it out of here. Got the Game Genie switch up. As you all know, Game Genie is a top loader. Put in the cartridge. Put it in the system. Turn it on. Alright, now just as a, uh, a little tip. For those of you who didn't know, Galoob, the uh, makers of the Game Genie, actually got sued by Nintendo and a few other companies. So the Game Genie doesn't work with all titles. That was something that happened on the SNES, and you'll get something like that. That's a little error message. However, it does work with the older titles, such as I'll put in the Super Punch-Out. Put in Super Punch-Out for you. You always got to make sure this switches up or else it's not going to do anything. It's just going to pass right through, regardless of whatever, whether or not you put in codes. There you go. Nintendo. So that one works, but not all titles do. Just keep that in mind before you order a Game Genie and then you're like, it doesn't work, doesn't work. It doesn't work with all titles because of lawsuits and copyright infringement. People not being happy. Alright, so another thing. Does it work with the Super Game Boy? Well, let's test that out. Put it in. Got my favorite Game Boy game, Tetris. I know it's a lot of people's favorites. I still play this on my DS. 
go. And again, it's not emulation, so all the sound is complete. There you go. Tetris loaded up, 1987. Wow, I feel old. And last but not least, the import games. This is a Super Famicom title. Really interesting thing. Super Famicom boxes kind of look like VHS boxes, so they stack up really nice on your shelves. So let's open that up. Jeez. Whoever traded this in, thank you, because it's even in the bag. Doesn't smell like new game, though. Pop it in. Shit's secure in there. This is the third Dragon Ball Z game that came out for the Super Famicom. As you can see, no need for a converter anymore. This plays all the ones that we've tested so far. It plays. However, we can't guarantee that it works with all import games, but it works with the ones that we've tested, which are some of the really popular titles. Now, European games. This is something that I actually wondered about myself, because I know that Europe actually got a few translated games that we didn't wind up getting, such as uh, the, second, the Second Secret of Mana. That's actually a really rare game. If you have that, hold on to it, because it's going to be worth a lot of money. However, we do have Super Mario Kart for the European Super Nintendo. Similar boxing, however, the cartridges resemble that with the Super Famicom. So you put it in, turn it on. No need for any converters or anything. Super Mario Kart 92 Nintendo. There you go. Now, one thing I know I love doing as a uh, as a young gamer was playing Super Mario Paint. Now, clean up all the goodies over here. This is the last thing we're going to test for the SNES. As I said in the unboxing video, it does work with original Super Nintendo controllers. So if you're not comfortable using these new ones, although they are fairly accurate, have no fear. Because it does work with the older ones. So we got Mario Paint. Everything's working. Click on the big man. Nobody wants to see two stick figures doing crunches. However, what I do want to know... Everybody's favorite fly swatting game. Oh, double shot. Double shot of espresso. Exit. Alright, that's it for the SNES, really. If you have any other questions, please feel free to post them up. But I feel like we've answered a lot of them. Now, the reason, real quick, re reason why this stopped working was because it has an SA1 chip in it, which also has a lockout function, as well as some graphical. Uh, enhancements, but uh, if that works, I know the Kirby game that has the same chip in it, as well as a few import games that have it, will work. That was the main issue for it not working. And so, the NES, one of my favorite classes of games, Adventure of Link, Zelda 2. So just like a few of our other retro systems, 8-bit is the up switch, 16-bit is down, so we're going to push it up. Music is all the same. Now, as I said before, S-Video will not work in this mode because it wasn't out yet. So it simply can't work. Oh, that's right. I have plugged in. That's nice. Everything's the same as you remember it as playing it on your NES back in the 80s. Oh, there's my girl. Walk through the forest, go to the town, look at the guys in the briefs. Now that basically is it for the Retro Duo game system. I know I was really excited when I first heard about it when Old School Fool shipped me the first system that I showed you guys last week. We do have them in both colors. We got the red and black and the blue and white. If you'd like to check them out at videogamecentral.com. It's also in the, the, there's links in the video description to the right of me, your right, my left pretty much. Uh, click the links, bring you right to the order pages. This So far it's on pre-order, it comes out on the 21st for you guys on our website. We'll, we'll also have them in store on the 22nd when they come to us. Thanks guys, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage, thanks for watching.